Good morning, everyone. Welcome again. It's July, a month of many different types of celebrations around the world. Yesterday was July 4th, Independence Day for the United States. Then there was Canada Day. Um, and at the end of the month in Bermuda, we have Emancipation Day on July 30th, which I'll speak on that later. But this whole month of celebration is about freedom and throughout this month we've heard and throughout the beginning of this year you heard a lot about freedom and liberties and choices and personal rights and there's pros and cons and all different people of um, different ethnicities and religions and groups and and each person have a different meaning of freedom and some of us may like them and some of us some may dislike their definition of what freedom is. And as a black person, we might say, hey, I'm not free. But today, you know, I'm going to focus on the fullness of what freedom is and, and let you know that freedom, the presence and the presence of God gives us so much more than that outer world freedom. It gives us that freedom of heart, that freedom of love, that freedom of connection with all people, no matter where they come from in the world, all things and all that. That's true freedom, and that's what we're going to focus on today. But before I go into our opening prayer, we're gonna, I'm going to play a song called Say Yes to Life, because freedom is about life. It's about Knowing that life is a fullness and it, it's good even with its ups and downs and goods and bads and all of those things. On the whole, it is good. So let's say yes to life. This is a song by Eddie Watkins. And it's a great song and it's got a little groove to it. So enjoy. Well, I'm saying yes, yes, yes.
So let's open in prayer. Now that you've got this great song that's in your mind, talking about saying yes to life. So let's take a deep breath in and center ourselves in the presence of God right now. Ah, fill your soul with the love of life and of God. And knowing with God all things are possible. With God there is freedom. With God there is light. There is love. So breathe in this in this silence of your mind where God is and open your heart to awareness of God's grace God's directions that will lead us through all things that are happening in this world right now breathe in so God we give thanks for this day for this moment in time to be right here in the presence of your divine energy and your light as we bless our world we bless all those who are sick now with the virus those who've made the choice to go out and be about in all the celebrations in the United States and Canada and anywhere else in the world keep them safe and whole and free and I say freedom because I open our hearts to the freedom of God that spirit, that consciousness of God that directs us and leads us in the path that we are meant to be on each and every one of us. Bless us as we heal from pain and suffering, from chaos and violence in our world. And anoint us in that deep healing and understanding that needs to take place and it's taking place as demonstrations continue around the world for freedom for all people, for justice for all people. And as we open our hearts to change that is constantly taking place but is far bigger right now. Let's release our fears and our angers and allow ourselves to open up to the love of God and knowing that this too shall pass that love reigns kindness reigns peace reigns through all the changes that takes place let's step up to the plate and march with God with our minds our hearts and our souls and know that we do have freedom within us for God gives us that, that almighty power within each and every one of us that is filled with love and peace and joy. Let that reign today and every day, the powerful love of God. Let it shift your consciousness to see and feel and know that all people are God's children. It doesn't matter the ethnicity, the what part of the world they come from, what religion they have. Let's be of one mind and one heart and help the sick, the shut in, the weak, and those who need our prayers and our strength. Let's step up to the plate as God's children and rise up in true freedom as we bless and heal each and every one of God's children. And as we breathe in now, when we fall, we open our eyes. We say amen and open our eyes to see the light of God in everyone, even those who don't want to see it that way. Just see the light of God. And I'll say amen again. Amen. So, I am free is my title today. And as I said, it's appropriate for um, this month of July. So we're going to start with a daily word, but I'm going to read yesterday's, which is appropriate for this. And I think the daily words can be read in any day, any year, because they're just wonderful anointments of the Spirit. So this one's entitled Free, and I'm sure many of you read it yesterday. And the affirmation, I'm going to say it twice, with God I experience freedom. And that's what this talk is about. With God I experience freedom. 
So we celebrate innate freedom to think, feel, and be anything we choose to be. Let's open ourselves to the experience of boundless nature and connect with the freedom that is our birthright. Know that however you choose to respond to life, it is not dependent on words, actions, or behaviors of anyone else. And as, as the song said, say yes to life. And when you say yes to life, you choose a life that is filled with freedom and not dependent on other people. It's freedom of mind. I segued way out of the daily word a bit, but that's okay. And it continues, no matter the circumstances, you can create an experience of freedom Limitations of health, career, or relationships may leave you feeling powerless or stuck. But as you turn to divine wisdom within yourself, know that there are all impediments are only temporary. Every obstacle you encounter provides you with an opportunity to attune to in mind, body, and heart and your full being to the awareness of God and to know that in truth you are always free and that's the freedom I'm talking about knowing the, aware the awareness of God and knowing that in that truth you are always free so what does a revealing word talk about or explain freedom as. It calls it a quality or state of being without restraints, bondage or limitation or repression. Think about that. Freedom releases all those bounds, not on the outer world, but in your mind and in your soul. And when you release them, you get a sense of completeness and you get to live your life and you get, get to say yes to life. Because it's not according to what others think. But in that freedom, you get to be kind and loving to all people. It doesn't say, this is my freedom and I'm not, you can't tell me what yours is. I'm talking about a freedom of spirit, which doesn't knock against someone else's. It allows us, each and every one of us, to be free. And I'm going to say this clear to you. You never know the full meaning of freedom until you abide in the Christ consciousness. This is what freedom is. Abiding in the Christ consciousness. For without prayer and spiritual meditation, there can be no concept of spiritual freedom. And therefore, no demonstration or action of freedom or knowing of true freedom. It is only gained through spiritual development through spending time with God and in the silence. When you come to hear me or any spiritual um, or any talk, each week you get to grow more spiritually and to know God more. And in that, you gain more freedom. That's what we're talking about in spiritual freedom. And so that when you step out into this outer world as a spiritual being in human form, you get to share your freedom. You get to rise above all the outer experiences and know that you are a child of God, free to experience all things in life. There is no bondage. So seek God first, that perfect mind of God. Seek that first and you are free. Exodus 6-7, I'm going to read this verse and I'll focus on it a bit. It says, I will take you as my people and I will will be your God. You shall know that I am the Lord your God who has freed you from the burdens of the Egyptians. Let's pull this apart a bit metaphysically, which I love to do when we talk about freedom. Now we know the Egyptians were those who kept the people in bondage. And all over the world there's been bondage in various forms and people have been kept as slaves and I just read an article on um, 
in Venezuela, I believe it is, in Brazil, where they eradicated blacks from there. I don't know how true the story, but there is bondage and slavery in so many parts of this world. There is not freedom of body, but we can have freedom of mind all over this world. And we have to start with our minds. That's where the freedom comes. So what are these burdens that these, that it's, that, slavery causes. It's a belief in ill health and lack and um, personal responsibility, prejudice and fear and, and all of those negative things. That's what burdens are like. They keep us back. They hold us back. And that's what the Egyptians or you'll say the Americans did or the Brazilians did or anywhere in this world that something has held us back in body. That's a burden. But the truth will set us free when we release those burdens from our mind. And you will know that people who have risen up from living in um, awful situations. And we say, how did they rise above all of that? We think about Oprah's story and all the other people who have rise above childhoods that many of us haven't lived to be where they are today. That's true freedom. Those Egyptian mindsets of um, holding people back, they come from a sense consciousness or a material consciousness, a darkness or ignorance. And, and that's what we say when we're talking about in these marches of Black Lives Matter is getting others to understand that we matter just as much as they do, that this is a learning experience for each person to step into the consciousness of the other so that we understand each other and be kind to each other. And to release ourselves from material consciousness or those consciousness that hold us back and block us from freedom to see the child of God and the light of God in each and every person and release the burdens that has held us back and those burdens that make us feel hate and fear of another person by their skin color or by their nationality, or by their religion. Let's release those burdens and rise above that to true freedom. I'm going to read this verse again so that you understand it more. Exodus 6, 7. I will take you as my people and I will be your God. God is there for us. He is everywhere present. You shall know that I am the Lord your God. Claim it and name God in your life. He has freed you from the burdens of the Egyptians. This is a truth, and the truth shall set you free. I found this the lyrics from the song. I collect a whole lot of different things um, to put in talks, and I found this song. It's called Let Freedom Ring. And, and the first verse goes like this, and it ties in. It says, it can't start across the country or start with someone else. The freedom that you're seeking begins with yourself. Just think of what it looks like if we could all unite and walk hand in hand together instead of letting go to fight. And the chorus says, I stand for love. I stand for truth. I stand for hope. I stand for you. I stand for peace. For peace I sing, in all the world let freedom ring. Think about this. What is freedom to you? Is your freedom blocking you from getting to know other people just from what you see? We always say go into the silence because it leads you because you close your eyes. And you release that ego part of you that blames and wants to see all different things. Let's go into the ego part of you that is open to change and understanding and awareness of the truth that God is our freedom. Let's release that part of us that blocks us and rise into the spirit of God within us using wisdom and intuition and clarity and creativity and discernment and love and responsibility. Let your freedom ring and let it transcend any ego thought mind that wants to blame and hurt. Transcend, that's what freedom is all about. To transcend all those things, those burdens that are holding you back. Because those burdens are based on fear, 
that somebody's going to take somebody from something or someone from you. We are all free. No one can take anything from you when you're free in your mind. Release the cord that is holding you in bondage, that is blocking you, for you from your good, and set yourself free. So remember, God has claimed you. You are a child of God. He is everywhere present has already set us free, has done all the work before us. Release all your old tired beliefs that are harming you and holding you back. Just let go and let God rise into a higher consciousness. As you listen to talks from different people all over the world, let freedom ring in your consciousness and you'll step out into the world a newer person, seeing with the light of God seeing each person as a child of God and knowing that we are all gods. We are all God's children, prosperous, joyous, loved and free. So say with me, I am free and release it and let it go. For in truth, you are always free. So we're going to take our thoughts and these thoughts to our meditation today and we're going to Know this truth of freedom. So breathe in right now. Freedom in your mind, in your body, in your spirit. Ah, let go of the burdens. Let go of the ego mind that is holding you back. Breathe. Let freedom ring. A joyous sound. Your heart is filled with love. Only love. Share it in the world no matter the circumstances or whatever you face. Breathe in the freedom of God. Freedom in your mind that you can do all things with God. Breathe. Take deep breaths in and release. Let your shoulders fall as the burdens fall away from your mind, your body, and your soul. And be infused with the love that freedom rings in your soul. Ding, ding, joy, joy. And as we come out of this meditation time, as it was brief, but we know we have connected with the Spirit. We affirm, I am free to think clearly and creatively, to live my life healthfully and prosperously with freedom. I am free in mind, body, and spirit. We say thank you, God. And as we open our eyes and come back to this place, free, free at last. <sighs> and let's say our prayer of protection. The light of God surrounds us. The love of God unfolds us. The power of God protects us. The presence of God watches over us. Wherever we are, God is. And all is well. And we are richly blessed right now. Amen. Thank you for joining me again this week. And I bless you. 
I appreciate you. I behold the Christ within you. And I know that you are free, free at last. Namaste. Until we meet again.